Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Time. And I know it's been a while, but I'm kind of back. Work's been a little hectic, but let's get this movie review in. It's Sweet Girl is the movie now streaming on Netflix. I believe it came out like a week and a half ago. I could be mistaken. All I know is that it's starring Jason Momoa and the actress name playing his daughter is Isabella something I really can't remember. I'm so sorry, but if you re if you remember, leave a comment down below and, and please let me know, okay? Uh, so the premise of this movie is pretty much in the trailers, you'll see that uh, the father of the family, uh, the wife and the mother uh, get sick and end up passing away due to Big Court pulling a medication that could help um, either repress or get rid of said sickness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but they do it to, for whatever reasons, to save money or and then just, or political reasons, really, you'll find that out as you watch the movie. And so in the first six months of what we're seeing uh, to get caught up, really, is them uh, trying to live a normal life, um, yet but still want answers. Uh, the daughter and the, the father, playing by Jason Momoa, and he's been approached by a reporter and he says, I already tried that. I, I've already tried that. It didn't work. But this one says, no, I got some reliable, incredible, you know, information that could help uh, your case. And so they ended up meeting or whatever. And that reporter got, you know what I'm saying? Uh, by someone, by someone, we don't know who, but by someone. And then the father ends up getting stabbed and hurt. And same, same with the daughter because she followed uh, her father to you know see what's going on you know because she's invested in this too obviously i would probably do the same thing wouldn't you i don't know leave a comment down below and let me know but and so what do we see next another time skip 24 months two years and what happens during this time skip you know we don't know we we don't know we pick up where we see the daughter training again in boxing and kickboxing. Um, in the beginning of the movie, that's how the father and daughter kind of built the relationship on. And so she continued that. And we see the father uh, continue to try to look down and see um, who, who, you know, who stabbed me, you know, who, who, you know, did that to the reporter. You know what I'm saying? And so the family still wants answers. And the answers are, it's just simply the truth and the justice, but it's much deeper than that, I think. You know what I'm saying? So we have to ask ourselves, what's really going on in this movie? What's what's really happening? Oh, what's the real story? What is the real truth that these people are really after? And is it worth risking their lives for? Would you do the same if that happened to you? Would you go to great lengths like that? This this whole instance reminds me of the movie uh, John Q, uh, starring Denzel Washington, uh, with the healthcare system uh, about not, you know, his son needs a heart transplant uh, because his heart's enlarged or whatever. But he fights the system, and his wife tells him, "You do what you need to do because you told me. Now do something." And it, he just kicked it in the high gear. Goes, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." And you know, different movie though. But check it out, John Q starring Denzel. If you have seen it, leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite scene. Let me know your favorite scene, okay? Because I, I, have, I have mine, but I want to know what yours are, okay? But, so, I mean, future spoilers alert. Spoilers alert, okay? Just so you guys know. Um, it goes on a crazy adventure of a father and a daughter going on the run, uh, defending the attacks from the corporation that's trying to send uh, these hitmen to kill them, Right? Um, the, the daughter gets, you know, the daughter's scared, right? She's trying to calm the father down, like, hey, let's just, let's just go to Canada. But they, they seem to can't get away because people are hunting them, right? I don't know. What would you guys do? Just continue to run away to a different country or just stay and fight? It, it's a plausible cause. I, I, I think I would have to stay and fight. If someone tried to ruin my family's life, I think I would have to stay and fight. Let me know what you guys think because... Frankly, everyone's different. Some people are like, you know what? Let me just go to like South Africa or Cancun and just, just coast out for a little bit for life. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But this this movie is is very emotional. Uh, Lee driven. Uh, the action is there. The chase is there. The count, and, the cat and mouse is definitely there. There's a very, very huge surprise in this movie that you'll never see coming. It threw me for the loop de loop. Okay, it's hard to catch me, but they got me on this one. I haven't seen the caliber of this movie in a very long time, guys. I, I kid you not. And I've seen a lot of movies, a lot of movies. But this one, I haven't seen this type in a very long time. And they hit it so very, very, very well that you'll never see it coming. It's it's quite surprising. Uh, again, of course, obviously the law enforcement's involved. They pretty much do nothing. Except for just exist there for the chase and for a listening ear. Other than that, they really do nothing. But... You know, as you know, the duo worked their way up the chain of command to see who's really behind the curtain and why. Uh, you begin to discover uh, what these spoilers are about, you know, budgets and, and saving profit and um, uh, really having the cure and what they do with the cure and the political side of it and lobbying and and all that stuff. So it kind of mirrors what's going on right now in today's time sort of but i mean that's always been the case even the beginning of this nation and other countries as well so that's that's nothing new right that's nothing new so don't be surprised but uh the action scenes are very very well written the choreography is is very very good they're kind of scrappy fighters since they fight in like in the ring and on the ground and wrestle and toss a little jiu-jitsu whatever but they also live kind of like out in the woods so they kind of mix those two together in their fighting style so they're very hands quick quickly hands-on like crafty when it comes to like you know defending themselves or coming up with certain things to defend or warring traps or something like that so that's i mean that aspect i really 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 enjoyed but uh just keep your eyes on the daughter that all that's all i gotta say and yeah the relationship between the daughter and like the enemy it's very good that that part i won't spoil it but i will spoil is that you will have a fun time okay and there might be some scenes where it's kind of like uh, it's, a, it's a little much you know what i'm saying graphic wise you know but then again if you like that or if you've seen john wick then you probably won't be surprised anyway uh, yeah this movie is for kids for your family so pull up some popcorn have some fun and just enjoy the movie it's a one hell of a ride guys trust me believe you me hey guys that's a quick movie review a little bit of spoilers kind of kind of it, it does deal with like mental illness a little bit a little little sneak peek all right behind the spoiler curtain not too much spoilers but there you have it there you have it and so hey i would watch this movie again best movie of the year so far that i've seen and there's a quiet place part two i mean that movie was phenomenal too but this one with shock and awe and like surprise, like just mind blown, this one beats it. But by far, by far. So please go check it out. Sweet girl, now streaming on Netflix. Okay, guys. See you next time.